There's one thing the history of evolution has taught us, it's that life will not be contained. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 greatest scientific discoveries of all time. My name is Michael Caine. I've just had a vaccine for COVID. It didn't hurt. Not many people know that. For this list, we'll be looking at the most impactful scientific breakthroughs of all time. We won't be including new tech, which could easily fill its own list. Which scientific discovery do you think is the most significant? Let us know in the comments. Number 10. Heliocentrism We all know today that the Earth revolves around the Sun. However, ancient times saw this model, heliocentrism, compete with geocentrism, which imagined Earth at the center of the solar system. The first known heliocentrism model was proposed in the 3rd century BCE, but the geocentric model dominated, and heliocentrism was only presented as a mathematical model in the 16th century CE by now-famed astronomer Nicholas Copernicus. You're kidding, this is the greatest uh, scientific discovery since Copernicus. This led to the Copernican Revolution, a universal acceptance of heliocentrism in science and astronomy. It wasn't without protests, however, from Copernicus's contemporaries and the Catholic Church. I'm telling you people, the Earth revolves around the sun. Burn him! There have been alterations to the model over time, yet it remains to this day. Number 9. The Human Genome Project Our understanding of DNA has come a long way from its initial isolation in 1869. Subsequent developments over the next century eventually led to the initiation of the Human Genome Project in 1990. The project aimed to map all human DNA and present the first official sequence of the human genome. By 2003, 92% of the genome had been fully sequenced. The rest was finally completed by early 2022. This has contributed to significant advances in human biology and medical science, allowing scientists to identify genes and genetic variations associated with specific diseases or traits. With tools like CRISPR, it's now possible to edit such genes for therapeutic or research purposes. You know what? Why don't you take a little human genome project and hit the road? Number 8. The God Particle some discoveries take a lot of time and effort, which was the case for this one. The Higgs boson particle was first theorized in 1964 by Peter Higgs and his colleagues. Here, that piece of space in front of me now, and indeed inside me, and in every piece of space out to the edge of the universe, is crammed full of these Higgs particles. It's been referred to as the God particle, as it's considered responsible for providing mass to all matter. It's what gives all matter mass, the thing without which we could not exist. You're talking about the moment of creation. However, it was only discovered in 2012, thanks to CERN's Large Hadron Collider, a 17-mile ring of superconducting magnets that boost the energy of particles. And we saw them fall to bits, we reconstructed them, and the, I th there's a handful, there are several hundred of them have been seen now, so that makes it significant enough to claim a discovery. Isolation of the Higgs boson confirmed previous theories about the nature of matter, and opens many doors for further research into its structure. If it weren't for this, and I love that I I asked you to explain it, dumb it down for oh. me, and you said it's molasses. Uh, <laughs> Essentially. Number seven, the theory of relativity. Time is relative, okay? It, it can stretch and it can squeeze, but it can't run backwards. When he was 16, Albert Einstein imagined chasing a beam of light. That eventually led to his theory of relativity, which consists of two parts. Special relativity states that the laws of physics are the same for all observers moving at a constant speed relative to each other, and that the speed of light is a constant that can't be exceeded. One result is the famous equation E equals mc squared, where E stands for energy, m for mass, and c for the speed of light. General relativity adds gravity, explaining that it's a result of how matter and energy curve space rather than a force. The theory transformed science, spurring massive advances in physics and cosmology. Number 6. Quantum Mechanics Einstein's general theory of relativity is excellent for studying objects at large scales. However, when it comes to the smallest scales, scientists rely on quantum mechanics. The term was coined in the 1920s by physicists working to fill in the blanks in classical physics. It involves some incredibly counterintuitive concepts, such as the uncertainty principle and quantum entanglement, which involves spooky action at a distance. However, for now, it's the best theory we have to explain the behavior of atoms and subatomic particles. 
The study of quantum mechanics has led to the development of key technologies such as lasers, MRI machines, transistors, and more. What is the correct interpretation of quantum mechanics? Since every interpretation gives exactly the same answer to every measurement, they are all equally correct. However, I know you believe in the many worlds interpretation, so I'll say that. Now, do you think I'm smart enough? Number five, the Big Bang. Interestingly, the term Big Bang was coined by an astronomer who considered the theory to be mistaken. Kaboom! Blam! Oh, excuse me again, dear. On a BBC radio program in 1949, physicist Fred Hoyle proclaimed his disagreement with the, quote, hypothesis that all matter in the universe was created in one Big Bang. The theory has since become widely accepted. Around 13.787 billion years ago, an infinitely dense singularity exploded, creating space and time and everything in it. Everything the light touches is our kingdom. Wow. The theory originated with the realization that the universe is expanding and received landmark evidence with the discovery of cosmic microwave background radiation in 1965. It allowed us to calculate the approximate age of the universe and begin to understand the history of the cosmos and our very minor place within it. Number 4. Evolution The concept of evolution dates back to ancient Greece when, in 500 BCE, philosopher Anaximander suggested that humans must have evolved from other animals. You can't fight evolution, I was built for speed! However, evolutionary ideas weren't scientifically theorized and published until Charles Darwin's On the Origin of Species in 1859. Darwin theorized that through natural selection, species evolve to better survive their respective environments and reproduce. These fossils gave him one of the first clues about evolution. For example, observing the remains of a mylodon, a giant animal similar to the sloth, he thought that those similarities were probably not a coincidence. In 1863, biologist Thomas Henry Huxley published the book Evidence as to Man's Place in Nature, which suggested that humans and apes are in the same family tree. The theory has met with considerable opposition from some religious groups, but ample evidence has built a strong scientific consensus. Number 3. Germs A few decades before germ theory replaced miasma theory, which blamed bad air for diseases, Hungarian obstetrician Ignaz Semmelweis made a shocking discovery. In 1847, he found that when medical practitioners washed their hands, it significantly reduced patient mortality. This can't be just coincidence, it can't be. His peers jeered at his discovery, but really he was just ahead of his time. Towards the end of the century, the work of microbiologists like Louis Pasteur and Robert Koch helped prove that germs, including bacteria and viruses, cause disease. What kind of sickness do you have in mind, boss? Deadly. This allowed researchers to create specialized ways to counter them. Number 2. Penicillin One of the greatest discoveries of all time was accidental. In 1928, Scottish physician Alexander Fleming returned to work after holiday to discover a mold growing in a petri dish of Streptococcus bacteria. Fleming noticed that the bacteria was unable to grow in the area surrounding the mold, which was secreting an antibacterial substance he named penicillin. My God! I've created life! At the time, Fleming's contemporaries were unimpressed. A decade later, a team of scientists at Oxford were able to use penicillin to cure test mice of several bacterial infections. During World War II, it went into mass production, paving the way for a number of other antibiotics. It's estimated that this one discovery has saved 200 million lives. Thanks, man. Thanks a lot. Don't thank me. Thank Penicillin. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into settings and switch on your notifications. Number 1. Vaccines when faced with a virus, our immune system detects antigens and produces antibodies in response. Vaccines follow the same principles, introducing harmless or weakened antigens into our bodies to stimulate our immune systems. The idea harks back to late imperial China when it was discovered that rubbing scratched skin with material from smallpox patients could inoculate someone. Gross, but effective. There you go. Give me some skin. Known as variolation, it was also practiced in India, Sudan, and Turkey before reaching Europe. 
In 1796, English physician Edward Jenner used variolation to create the first smallpox vaccine. A century later, Louis Pasteur developed new vaccines. In the 1930s, scientists realized that viruses could be cultivated in chicken eggs. Since their discovery, vaccines have saved countless millions of lives. A lot of us wouldn't be here today without them. What if the vaccine makes them sick? The common side effects from the COVID vaccines are generally mild and last a few days. But do you know what can have serious long-term side effects? COVID. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.